Alright, now that I know what level, or what character to pick, and the, the, uh, caveats of all this. Not to do an actual, then. I like how even though the SNES could support more sprites on the screen, they still like kept the sprite limit the same. It's like that log, the log on the waterfall still doesn't spawn. I told you, this is harder on this version. Whoops. Oh, they did increase it for Mario 1 in boss levels? That's interesting. I can barely hear the fanfare, so my splits are probably all off. I think the SNES is a little bit quieter than this. actually fight this birdo. I'll remember this. Oops, I did that again. I'm not used to approaching those tufts of grass from the bottom left. <laughs> I get confused which one to pick up. Okay. <clears throat> Still have to figure out the optimal way of doing this level. Not sure if there's a better way of doing this. It might be like a death warp, actually. Just dying. Because right now you have to go into the door to respawn the potion. It might be as simple as like oops, getting the first mushroom and then dying to start the level over. So that mushroom is right at the beginning. And then use the first potion to get the second mushroom, and then use the second potion to warp. That's probably the better way of doing it. Yeah, we logical. Thanks for the good luck. Quit to the tile menu, lay down, and start crying. 
I mean, if that's how you want to play games, then sure. Shiny Railroad. Oh, you know what? I could probably just do a super jump there. I won't lose the sniff it because I can actually keep a hold of him when I do the super jump. Star. Oh. Fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. Oh, <laughs> I can't do it because the super. I have to super jump as Toad to get up there. Great, great, great. I don't think I would have made that. We're gonna need a different strategy for killing Birdo with the star. Luigi. Just to, just to get up that one ledge. Actually, Mario would probably be the next best. Would it be worth to uh, start as Toad to get the speed for the horizontal part and then switch, like die and switch to Mario? <laughs> just to be able to kill Birdo with the star? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Ethan, that's what, uh... That's what you do on the NES version, because I'm pretty sure the star doesn't last as long on the NES version. So it's not even close. If you go through subspace. Either that, or it, the star doesn't even... persist through subspace, I don't remember. Why not? I don't know, the game is weird. If I have a homebrewed switch, I do not. I almost did, but then I didn't.
I decided I'd like to play online. <laughs> I know, the last time I looked into it, they were like, don't do this unless you never want to play online ever again. That was like a delayed hit. Oh, dual boot? I guess that makes sense. don't like not having the double jump there. I threw the thing in the wrong spot again. Oh wait. Crap. <laughs> I'm too so used to Continuing to play the bubble. That was almost bad. Alright, Steven. Have a good soup. And thank you for the good luck. It's okay, I only lost 10 seconds to that. Gotta wait for that. Can't get up! Oh, I still didn't get hit. Oops. Almost picked Luigi on accident. Yo, Jeff, how's it going? I didn't have to super jump. I could have done a momentum jump, but it doesn't matter there. <laughs> Even if I go as fast as possible, I still can't make it to the door in time. It's just fun to waste time there. It's like the only mushroom that uh, is so far away that you can't get to the door in time. Look at that. You can throw this 
door down and it doesn't lag the game. Oh yeah, sure. Not the door's fault. It's like, uh, what is it called? What is that dilemma? Tragedy of the Commons or something? Still don't remember which door, which grass was the potion. This one. Nope. This one. Nope. This one. Nope. This one. It's the tenth one. All right. <laughs> I'll try to quickly count them as I go by next time. <clears throat> the mushroom. Still can't believe that happened in my run. I still need to get used to picking up the ball, like, later. Six extra lives. Why are the door handles on the left side? Because you're looking at it from the other side. Maybe that's different than the NES version, because I messed that up the same way. Oh, they're left on both sides? Okay, then I don't know. <laughs> Good question. Maybe there's actually like a tiny hallway in between each room. And they're actually two different doors. Uh, of course I fail it right on the boundary of the screen. I've ever hit that spike before. Interesting.
Goodbye, fish. That was a good Birdo fight for that level, finally. Alright, there's one coming up right now. Right here. Oh, I still have to do Maybe Mario is still a better choice here. It's a sliding door. <laughs> sliding door. Kinda does look like a sliding door. That's a good split. Can't wait to optimize that split. Why do I keep throwing that on the... <laughs> specifically throwing it on the other side? When it would be faster to throw it on the left. Hey, thanks for the subscription. Enjoy your emotes. Bop. Yo, that trick does work. Yo, Radium, thanks for the resub. Appreciate continued support. Hey there, Clayton. Thanks for the good luck. Lost time on the easiest split. All I gotta do is exit out of the game. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> that split is. It's time to stop playing. Split. I don't know why I waited for that. I did make that sub alert sound. It's me too is Kaizo. I don't know about that. It's so satisfying to be good at that trick. What the heck? <laughs> As opposed to not being good at the trick like the last run I did. Now the fancy door. <laughs> Who knows? Wow, I tried to duck jump and I grabbed the ladder and that's Wow, bombs aren't heavy objects. Same. Pick. Wow, it's why is it so difficult to pick these up?
Can you tear off Birdo's bow in this version? No, you cannot. Unfortunately. I think that's all- uh... Is that GBA version only? I honestly forgot that you could do that. Luigi's cancelled. Get him out of here. That guy didn't spawn. My Kigu? <laughs> Tell me what that means. Whoa! I always forget to move forward just a tiny bit to spawn that guy in early. Door though. Oh, the Umbreon hoodie? Yeah, it's just a hoodie. Very warm hoodie for when it's freezing cold in my room. No. <laughs> Oh, first try. Indeed, freezing cold 60s. It's 67.6 in here right now. That's so cold. The door, so did you just notice the door that I didn't go in got flipped when I went through? There's another clue to what's happening. Cold room temperature. <laughs> mm. 
Oops. Well, actually, being small makes it easy. To hit. Mm -mm. Missed. Also easier to get hit by a bubble and die. I almost got hit by that last bubble. Thirty-one <laughs> could probably easily be sub thirty. Yo, Calco. All these new names, what the heck? Thank you, everybody, for the GG. Now beat this on NES? Mmm, that's gonna be difficult. <laughs> if you let me use the level select hack that I made, then maybe. First time you see the second mushroom. I. That this level seven two is so huge. You basically have to run into the mushrooms by chance. You always got that mushroom. It's so far out of the way. It's like an, you have to go through that whole room that's outside. It has all the ladders. Yeah, I don't think I ever found either of them. You can see one of them through the wall. Like if you... It's near... The room where you first uh, do a vine jump up onto the ceiling. If you go over to the left, you can kind of see the room where the mushroom's at, but you can't get to it. just explore. It's stressful to explore in that level because there's so much there's so many enemies to kill you and you're on the final level. Alright, so, that is the world record for all mushrooms, save and quit. Oh look, I can save and quit. How fitting to save and quit after save and quit. <laughs> 